Welcome to the Fantastic Mr. B. In this video, we'll learn how to use models to multiply whole numbers by fractions. Make sure to grab some paper and a pencil so you can work along with me. Now before we start, let's review the steps on how to solve multiplying whole numbers by fractions. First, we draw circles, whatever the whole number is. Second, we cut all the circles into fractions based on the denominator. Third, we shade the amount of each circle based on the numerator. And fourth, we move pieces to make holes. Let's look at our first problem of three of one half. I like to think of this as three groups of one half. So I have to draw out however many circles I have a whole number of. So I have three circles. Second, I need to cut those circles in the fraction based on the denominator. So I need to cut these into halves. Now I'm going to shade in the amount of each circle based on my numerator. And fourth, I'm going to move the pieces to make holes. So I can go ahead and take this piece and I can move it here and cross that out. I now have one hole and one half. So my answer is one and one half. For my second problem, I have two thirds of four. I can think of it this way. I have two thirds of four groups. So I drew out four circles because that's how many my whole number is. Now I look at my denominator for my next step. I cut the circles into thirds. Now my next step, I shade the amount of each circle based on my numerator. So I have a two. So now I shade two pieces of every circle. And finally, I move the pieces to make whole numbers. I have one hole, I have two holes, and then I have two thirds. So my answer is two and two thirds. Now it's time for some practice. So make sure you have some paper and pencil. In addition, make sure you smash the subscribe, like, and share button if you like this video and you want to see more helpful math tutorials. Okay, let's get to our practice. Our first problem is two of three fourths. If you want to see if you can do the problem yourself, pause the video now. If you want to work along with me, just let the video play. So I drew out two circles because my whole number is two. Next, I cut the circles into fourths. Next, I need to shade the amount of each circle based on my numerator, and that's a three. And last, I need to move pieces to make a whole. So I have one and two fourths, which can be simplified to one and one half. Let's go to our next problem. If you want to see if you can do it yourself, pause the video now. If you want to work along with me, just let the video play. For one third of four, I have four circles. Next, I need to cut the circles based off my denominator, which is three. So I'm going to cut these into thirds. Next, I need to shade the amount of each circle based on my numerator. I have a one, so I shade one for each circle. And finally, I need to move the pieces around to make whole numbers if possible. And now I have one whole, and I have my one third. So my answer is one and one third. Let's jump to a few more practice problems. All right, I have three of two fifths. If you want to see if you can do it yourself, pause the video now. If you want to work along with me, just let the video play. I have three of two fifths. I have three circles because my whole number is three. Now I look at my denominator and I have a five. Now I need to cut my circles into fifths. And it's okay if my circles and my fractions aren't perfect. I'm just going for understanding. Next, I need to shade the amount of each circle based on the numerator. So I shade two for each hole. And finally, I need to move my pieces to make holes. So my answer is one and one fifth. For our next problem, we have two thirds times two. If you want to see if you can do it yourself, pause the video now. If you want to work along with me, just let the video play. So my first step is to draw circles based off my whole number. I have two. Next, I look at my denominator to tell me how many size pieces I need to cut each hole. I have a three, so that means thirds. Next, I need to shade the amount based off my numerator. And finally, I need to move my pieces to make whole numbers. So my answer is one and one third. All right, that wraps up our video on how to use models to multiply whole numbers and fractions. I hope I was able to help you understand this concept better. Let me know what you think of the video in the comments and make sure to smash the subscribe button. And until next time, 
this is Mr. B. Later.